this is this is a, a comment, but I think there's a question in there too. Their suggestion is have training for all first responders about mental health and folks with developmental disabilities. There may be less shootings towards folks like these. What do you think? I, I absolutely agree. I think first responders should be thoroughly trained on how to respond to a person that is distressed, that is, has a history of not being well, and especially if they haven't got a history of violence, that should be uh, clearly, clearly marked out that this person is not normally violent. However, um, first of all, I just want to thank to all our first responders right now, whether they're police, ambulance officers, or whoever they are, because they're doing an amazing job, and sometimes in very, very difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. As you know, we have delivered services to um, in, in situations, in NGOs, uh, in which we had to provide services to people that were severely disabled because of a mental health issue. And not just because of the mental health issue, they were also severely disabled because of the medication that they were taking for those issues. And many, very often, uh, ourselves and our, and our people have felt threatened, intimidated by these normally nice people, but not during those days. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about first responders and how they react, I say, yes, I agree we should train them. Will, will that stop them from all the time, never, ever shooting anybody? No. Will it d diminish? I think it will. If they have a good, if they, if they understand the person, they could hit case history. If, they were, if we could work with the police more closely, teaching them better techniques uh, on how to respond to those really dangerous situations. We're not talking about somebody having a bad day. Yeah. But also, I think it's important, the training in how to respond to situations yeah. that they are perceiving as dangerous that may not actually be as Absolutely. dangerous as they're thinking because they see a behavior of someone who's acting strangely in front of them. It may not be aggressive. It may not be violent. It may be that there's something else going on for this person that they're not aware of. So, for example, uh, we talk about this when we're training around uh, psychosis. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if someone has a lot of voices going on in their head, for example, and then they're talking much more loudly uh, to you or they're leaning forward in your face, it could come across as aggressive, but that's not their intention. Yeah. They're, they're just dealing with all this other stuff mm. going on as well. So um, if we can train those first responders to in mental health, in understanding just a little bit, they don't need to be experts, but they need to be able to assess situations as accurately as possible. They're not going to get it right 100% of the time, but yeah. to be able to identify, I don't think this is aggression. I think this is actually someone struggling, someone afraid right now. Fear yeah. is behind a lot of it. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's, a, there's also another aspect to this is not only should we provide that training, I believe in most cases they're being trained already on how to respond in these situations, but if, if they're not, they should get the training. But we also should train our first responders and our police forces and, and that to identify who of those first responders shouldn't be on the road that day. Mm. So I'll tell you what, just last week I was watching a, a short video of this police officer that escalated the situation unnecessarily. The mm. person that was responding to him was really polite, really courteous, this guy could not have been nicer. And the policeman just had, was hell-bent on arresting that person and causing problems. That officer was not having a good day. That officer should not have been on the road that day. Mm. They should have had time out for, for that officer. So it goes both ways. Yeah. How is the mental health of the person that we, we, we're responding to? How is my mental health <laughs> as a first responder? True. So there's that, that double aspect to things, yeah. Excellent. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.